guys! Today I'm going to show you one weird little secret of all of the pros when it comes to playing chords and playing the chord changes, more specifically those transitions in between chords. So we're just going to be taking a couple chords as an example, just G, C, and maybe even D, um, all chords in the G major scale. I'm going to show you one weird little secret that I teach all of my students that always kind of blows their mind for a second. They're like, that can't be right, but it is, and it's what all the pros do, but you don't know about. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay, now that I got you guys zoomed in, let's go and take a look at exactly what the heck I'm talking about. So in this example for this video, we're going to use the most common strum pattern in the entire world. And that is a classic down, down, up, up, down, up. Or one and two and three and four and. Okay, you've heard this in a million songs. And we're going to use that today. Okay, now here's why. Because... At the end of pretty much every great strum pattern, you're going to have this little up strum, and that helps to kind of glue chords together and makes it sound uh, professional, I guess. I mean, without it, it sounds like this. Right? Here it is with it. Feel that? It just connects better. So we're going to use that strum pattern, and a lot of my beginners struggle in how to connect the chords using that strum pattern. And what I tell them is, is don't play like a robot and try to get those chords in, in all precise and everything. What I want you to do is I want you to relax and I want you to simply get used to doing your chord change moving while that last up strum is being played of the one and two and three and four and. On that and, we're going to be moving. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about in, in quick real time and I'll show you how it looks in slow down mode. So here it is. So now here's what's actually happening if I slow things down. It's going to sound funny, but check it out. Kind of exaggerated it there, but that's it. You see it? I'm lifting. I'm making my move right there on that up strum. And this is what it sounds like. You can't even hear it. Crazy, right? So it's like one of those magicians up their sleeves kind of tricks that uh, actual musicians use. So I want you just to try that with this strum pattern and the way I break it down with everyone that I, I teach this to is I tell you forget the chord change for a second let's just get used to that motion of moving or lifting our hand up as we're still strumming. So here's what I want you to do on down, down, up, up, down, up I want you just to remove your hand on that up strum on the same time so one more time, down, down, up, up, down, up. I know it sounds weird and it feels wrong, I get it, <laughs> but it's completely right. It's how professionals actually play and get those smooth, nice, beautiful, clean chord transitions. And when it's done so quickly and so eloquently, you don't really hear it. It's just something that doesn't really seem to be a factor in, in the playing um, so or in the song. So here it is one more time. Just do this, down, down, up. point isn't to lift but it's to actually be moving so next step do it slow and try to keep the tempo the same don't stop lift there it is and change and that's the secret all right thank you so much for tuning in you guys i really appreciate your views Please share this video, please like this video, comment, let me know what you're thinking and what you want to learn. Also subscribe to my channel and you can stay tuned for all the other freebies that I'm giving out on a pretty much a week by week basis. Alright, later guys, enjoy.